Texas. Thank you so much. Um, you know what, this hearing is actually the best example of what waste, fraud, and abuse looks like because the only reason we're having this hearing is because somebody got their feelings hurt in a debate and I don't understand why we're wasting taxpayer dollars. Next time, tell your big boy to show up and be ready to handle the woman in the room who hopefully will become the next president of the United States. Nevertheless, while we do have two amazing authors from Project 2025, which it seems like everybody got the memo, like, yes, I'm going to double down and say it's my thing, but I'm going to make sure I also say that it ain't our homeboys thing because we know that it doesn't poll very well with the American people because the American people are woke enough to recognize that there is nothing good in it for them. So with that being said, Ms. Perryman, I'm just curious, and this is yes or no, is Trump's name ever mentioned in Project 2025? Yes or no? Um, Just yes or no? I got you. <laughs> I got um, you. In, within the document itself, yes. um, there are a number of references to the former okay. administration. So is Trump's name mentioned just one time? Uh, I believe it's mentioned more. Okay. Five times. I haven't counted. Oh, oh okay. Well, uh, if I told you that his name is mentioned approximately 312 times, would you have any reason to dispute that? Um, I don't have any reason. Okay, thank you very much. So it's interesting that we want to try to pretend. We're not going to pretend in here. We're going to work with facts and not fiction. So I also want to talk about inflation really quickly with you, Ms. Perryman, because we've talked about it a lot. I'm just curious to know, uh, is inflation, the inflation that we just struggled through, was that global or was that limited to the United States? Global. Global. Seemingly, it was attached to this thing called the global pandemic. Demic. Is that correct? That is my understanding. Oh, okay. So it, it wasn't just the United States. No. Okay. So it wasn't just a matter of the Biden-Harris administration in the United States is struggling, right? I think the United States actually fared better than the rest oh, of the world. Oh, yeah. In fact, we are. Correct? I think so, yeah. All right. But inflation still hurts. And so that's why we have a candidate that has an actual plan instead of concepts of a plan. Or as I like to say, um, Trump only has offered concepts of constitutionality mixed with um, coordinations of a coup, but nevertheless, we're going to move on. I want to talk about uh, the internet really quickly because we wanted to talk about the internet. Actually, let me talk about the border real fast, and then we can talk about Texas in this way. Um, I would like to, I'd ask for unanimous consent to emit this article from The Hill that says, Trump says, blame it on me if border bill fails. Without objection, so ordered. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to move on to the internet. And I'm actually going to talk about Texas because I believe that the testimony has been somewhere around uh, the fact that no money has actually been disputed as it relates to rural broadband. Um, I'd also ask for unanimous consent to admit this article from the USDA.gov. USDA officials attend groundbreaking to expand high-speed Internet access in rural Texas dated March 7th, 2024, Italy, Texas. Without objection, so ordered. Thank with, you so with, much. With respect, so that was not the testimony. Oh, I thought you said no dollars had been spent. The largest single program. My is, question is, did is you not say? $42 billion. Dollars. Okay. Zero houses have been connected. There are other federal programs, including Trump era ones, that right now are turning dirt and connecting. Okay, so, so just to be clear, because I don't want the American people to be confused because I was confused because it almost seemed as if, considering the fact the name of this hearing is the failed policies, as if nothing had been done. But to clarify for those that are watching, you aren't saying that no dollars have been spent as it relates to rural broadband dollars under the Infrastructure Act, correct? To be clear, for the signature effort, forty. Yes or no? Dollars. Have any dollars been spent? Not a One single dollar. person has been connected. There's that was, that's program, not my question though. My question was: Have sets any of issues? Senator Ted Cruz from okay, Texas. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm reclaiming my time at this point. For many of these bills. I'm reclaiming my time, which means chairman, I'm going to stop my time because the witness is not. Are, are you asking him a question? Or are you? No, I'm not asking time. him a question. I reclaim my time. All right. Did you chair recognize Miss Crockett? Okay, now I need my, I was at 41, y'all, so go back up. I will give I you nine watching. more seconds. Okay, thank you so much. Here's the deal. You've testified a lot about the problem with the broadband rollout being diversity, equity, and inclusion. You said DEI, I don't know how many times, which is one of the issues that Project 2025 takes issue with. But it's interesting to me because I have another article from the Texas Tribune, and it actually specifically states that Internet 
Providers say they are simultaneously hopeful and skeptical about whether the incoming federal dollars will be enough to connect the most underserved Texans. Historically, other federal rural broadband funding programs have seen limited success because many companies who committed to providing broadband went into default after radically underestimating their cost. It doesn't say anything about diversity. And the final thing that I will say Do you is know that why those this election, I didn't ask you a question. The final thing that I will say is that this election is the best example of why y'all are so afraid of diversity, equity, and inclusion, because then you can't have a simple-minded, underqualified white man somehow end up ascending. Instead, you've got to pay attention to the qualified black woman that is on the other side. And we